Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand loop controller. So as of now, I have a test plan inside the test plan. I have a test case which is called thread group and in the thread group we have few steps which are hitting to different pages of my web application. These are the simpler steps. I'm going to add one listener. So I'm adding view result tree listener running it. So here we can see all the steps are executed in an order in which they are placed. But now my scenario is I want to execute my home five times. You can add the loop over here, but in this case, it will execute all the steps five times. I don't want to execute my all the steps five times. I just want to execute only my home five times. If I set loop over here, it will be applied to all the steps inside the thread group. So scenario over here is I want to execute only home five times. So in that case, when we want to execute only one or few steps in loop, I'm going to add loop controller. So here we have loop controller. I'm going to set five and I'm dragging and dropping this loop controller at the start. Pick the home and place it inside the loop controller. Just drag and drop over loop. So now we have a loop controller which is set for five execution and I have set home inside it. When we execute this, it's going to execute loop controller inside the loop. We have home, so it will execute home five times and then it will execute the Unix and SQL step. I clear the result and running it again. So here we see it's executing my home five times. One time is getting failed. We can check why it's getting failed. So we can go to the request and response. Server was not able to respond. We can clear the result because it's not our mistake. Server was not able to respond. We can check it again. And here we see it is executing home five times and then my Unix and then SQL is executed. So whenever we want to execute complete test case in the loop, all the steps in the loop, we can set loop over here. But if we want to execute only few steps in the loop, we can use loop controller. Now I want to show you how it's going to make difference if I set something in the loop count inside the thread group and we have added loop controller as well to understand this we have two loop count in test case so my complete test case will execute two time when first time this test case will execute it will go to the loop controller my home will execute five time then unix then sql means five time home then unix and then sql my first loop of the test case is completed then it's going to the loop again test case loop again and again it will execute five time loop controller then unix then sql we can check it again test case iteration one is started and in the test case iteration one we have loop controller which is executing five time then unix and then sql now iteration for the test case two is started loop controller five time then unix then sql so if we are setting the loop on the test case level, it's going to execute complete test case in the loop. If we set loop controller, so only the step which are inside the loop controller will be executed in the loop. Thanks for watching this video.